On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended at the UN headquarters in New York the signing ceremony of the Global Agreement on Climate in the presence of leaders and heads of delegations of countries around the world aimed at reducing carbon emissions causing global warming. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad signed the agreement on climate, which the Kingdom of Bahrain was of the first countries that agreed to this agreement. The Supreme Council for the Environment represents presented Bahrain in several meetings and workshops that contributed to shape this agreement. In his opening speech at the General Assembly, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed his delight at the ratification of the agreement, urging the international community to implement measures that reduce the climate risk and protection of local communities and transforming the Paris Convention into concrete action. He said that the historic gathering, which included more than 165 countries, represented a defining moment for future generations. The Paris Climate Agreement aims at keeping global warming below 2 Celsius to avert detrimental repercussions, including drought, floods, melting glaciers, and rising sea levels. The Paris Climate Pact enters into force 30 days after its ratification by 55 countries, accounting for 55% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, BREEF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the 128-kilometer endurance race in the presence of BREEF President Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the Cavaliers Ma'youf Al Romehi, Mohammed Al Shimari, Al Maqdad Janahi for achieving the first, the second, and third titles respectively. His Highness lauded the Night Ride Championship and hailed the large participation and the positive outcome of the race, which reflects the significant level reached by the Kingdom in this field. He also congratulated the winners and expressed appreciation to the organizing committee's contributions and efforts for achieving success for the event.
Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi patronized today an induction meeting which was organized by the Education Ministry for Public Schools principals on the project and its first phase. The minister said that the Digital Empowerment and Education project will be extended in the next academic year to include 12 new intermediate schools. He added that the move will bring the number of schools applying the project to 17 boys and girls intermediate schools. The Education Minister said the political leadership in Bahrain believes that education which copes with contemporary changes is the main pillar of sustainable human development. He added that many development projects have been adopted throughout the history of education in Bahrain, coming up with a digital empowerment and education project. He noted that the project is in line with the royal directives to integrate technology and education, and it is an extension of His Majesty King Hamad's schools of the future project. Dr. Naimi said the education ministry is going ahead with outfitting new schools applying the project with the needed equipment while providing quality specialized training for the educational and administrative staff. He also lauded the tremendous efforts of the public and private schools supporting the project.